Christy Lee. I'm a community organizer and I helped organize this event. We're calling it Winter Wind Down. We got a small grant from Make Something Edmonton to um, put on a winter activity and we just collaborated with a lot of groups to put on a music event um, as well as we're just doing some outdoor activities. Awesome, awesome. Let's have fun. I'm giving an African drumming workshop and also an African dance workshop to bring people together. I love events like this because uh, this is a great way to get people together and to also connect with people you don't meet all the time and to get your art out there and also for, the part, for what I do, I love it because I, I like bringing people together with my music and uh, African drumming is, is a great way to do that. Well, my name is Joshua Ice, uh, and basically why I came to this event is because uh, I'm going to say he's a mentor. Uh, Jacob Boss, the, the co-founder of Kids for Cameras, invited me here, and uh, so I thought I'd come check it out, see what it's all about, and yeah, it's fun stuff. Just sharing with the community and trying to get more kids involved and uh, uh, with uh, Kids for Cameras, which is a program that... Um, that uh, gets gets kids access to cameras, and uh, when we get them access to cameras, that that usually allows us uh, a line of communication with you with youths that sometimes don't have um, that many people to communicate with, I guess. And we get them a sense of support. Yeah, we, we give we give kids that might not have as much support as, as they'd like. Uh, we give we give them mentorship and cameras, and and then we ask about what resources that they might need, and we try to connect them with those resources. I'm Rebecca Kaiser, and I'm an inner city recreation and wellness practicum student from the U of A. I'm Ronald Kafara, and I am an inner city recreation and wellness program coordinator from Boyle Street Community Services and Bissell Center. <laughs> so there is a group of, of families in the Central McDougal area that have been really working very hard to create and support community activities and so they, they contacted us and were telling us some ideas that they had on community development and different things that they could do in the area to bring people together in, you know, in a positive way. And so yeah, we uh, just are trying to support that as much as we can. So my name is Christina de Guzman and I'm part of the Heroes of 107 uh, project and I was invited by um, Christy, a community member of this area, to come uh, set up a table to let um, people who live in the community know um, about the project that I'm working on. They say it's very ben beneficial because some people, you know, they just, they just go home, they go to work, they go to school, that's it. Um, you know, we live really busy lives now, a lot of stuff is online. Um, just the idea of, especially spaces where people can come together and find out what are the resources in the community, whether it's this immediate community or, or things outside and seeing people face to face. Um, because sometimes people don't feel comfortable just picking up the phone or um, when you look up a website, it doesn't resonate as much as seeing someone face to face telling you about a project or about something that's available in the community. So definitely just having that face-to-face -face contact and just reminds us we're human, I guess, and that um, there's people out there doing a lot of great things. I got the bus down at the corner of night. It was heavy, but the weather was fine now. Hi, I'm 
David Shepard. I'm the MLA for Edmonton Centre. So uh, I'm out here today to support uh, I think what I think is a great community event. Uh, you know, I've been talking with Derek and, and Christy for a while who've been uh, working hard to sort of build more community opportunities, chances for people in Central McDougal to be able to get together. Uh, I think it's fantastic to see that, see that happening in our downtown neighborhoods. And uh, you know, I wanted to have a chance to come out and sort of encourage them and, and join them in, in, in supporting that and trying to, trying to see more community built here. You know, it's been amazing. I first uh, started talking with Derek and Christy back shortly after I was elected, so you know, about 10 months ago. And they are just starting to get the ideas and sort of starting to percolate some of what they wanted to see happen. And in those 10 months, I've seen enormous growth. So it's been fantastic to see so many people coming out from the community, a lot of, uh, a lot of families who are new Canadians and sort of new to the country, feeling comfortable coming out, getting to know their neighbors, and, and finding more of a place here. So I think it's incredibly valuable for the community. Nice.